Alex Ansari here, and I got a lot of thoughts. First thing in the morning is the sun's coming up. It's actually been up a few hours. And I want to talk about Costilla County. I want to provide some constructive criticism. I don't want to attack anyone. I want to tell it how it is without pulling punches. So let's get started. I feel at this point that the people of Costilla County should have a candidate that they support that is someone that is either good with people or willing to go out and expose corruption. I feel that that person can be a new resident or old resident. I feel like that person that commented once saying that it should be an older resident should step up to the plate herself then and provide that older resident. To me, it doesn't matter whether it's a new resident or an old resident who runs for office in 2016, but it needs to be somebody. I'm just gonna go down the list of the most important thoughts that I have. I don't believe that it's fair, people, to call people in the, in the desert a bunch of stupid potheads. I also don't feel that it's accurate for people to defend themselves and say, that's not true, we're not dumb potheads. If all they do is just smoke pot, and all they do is just you know live in their own little micro-reality where they say community, but it's really just about what's going on around them. And they're living day to day and moment to moment, and they're directing a lot of their attention on Facebook. You know, there are certain ways of doing things that have been proven to not work for society. And some people are, are new to some things. I think that there's been a lot of naive thinking about government corruption. I think that a lot of people assume that maybe the county would just like them or something, you know, if they just, you know, did things right. And in the end, I think the county lost respect for a certain, certain residents. They saw them as weak. I think that there is a false belief that the county respects them. And I don't see that. I see a county that is looking at the residents as weak, okay? They are not looking at a community that is organized. They are not looking at a community that will back up what it says. They were easily able to push a few people off their property. And I'm glad to be where I'm at now, so I'm not sad about that. I'm happier now where I am. But I am still going to say that Whenever we go somewhere, it should be our choice. We shouldn't be forced off anywhere. I may be in a better place now. Light years ahead. Oh, dear. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, really? I mean, seriously. Thank you. Uh, wow. Nobody does it better. But it should be our choice if we're going to move. Not the choice of a county or some archon-possessed code enforcement officer. And so the county saw us as weak, and they said, well, go ahead, do what you're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and illegally push you off your land in front of everybody. And I, I feel that time could have been better spent getting legal help out of Denver. The ACLU is more of a political organization, but if the ACLU is not going to help us, then we need to also do a video about the ACLU. We need to put out the person that was talked to. We need to be organized. You know, the people in San Luis are going, you gave your bunch of dumb potheads just because some people might smoke and because it's legal. I'm talking about going low when you've got nothing else to attack someone on. Yeah, just default to calling them a pothead. Works every time. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is there are a certain amount of people out there that are not organized enough that have gotten a little comfortable here. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to hope that my constructive criticism is being heard by those that need to hear it. And I also want to warn those about being arrogant. When you say community, you need to think about Costilla County and not make yourself to be a poster child for a movement if you can't back it up, if you aren't in a situation to move things forward. So what I'm trying to do here, in as few words as possible without this being a 30-minute video, I want to encourage residents to find a way to register to vote, new residents and old residents. I want to encourage people to go down to the county commissioner meetings and the planning commission meetings, especially if you own land. If you're a reporter, I would encourage you to keep your focus on the story. This is a story that is still in development. Things are not as they seem. We're dealing with extreme forms of racism coming out of San Luis and classism. Oh, I have a big house. I pay lots of money for taxes. What you bring here? I mean, and they're being honest about it because they're not intelligent enough to realize that they look really bad when they do that. 
they show their true colors. And I appreciate the people of San Luis for being honest with us. I appreciate those members of the community that said openly, if this was the old days, we, we'd kill you. Now we know what we're dealing with. And I need to tell the people watching this what you're dealing with. You're also dealing with La Raza. You're dealing with La Raza here. And there's more than a few people that have warned about the cartel presence. People don't want to talk about it. You know, one of the issues with Costilla County, you have a lot of people that are scared. And I felt that fear myself. And I'm telling you, it is ultimately coming from the dark spiritual planes. Sure, there have been people that have been killed out here. But there's a sense of fear and terror that can strike you when you're down in the prairie, when you have all eyes on you, uh, when you're worried about invaders because people have been invaded and killed before out there. So people are worried and they are constantly looking towards the road. I was living out here three years ago and I was constantly living towards the road. I wasn't afraid or not necessarily thinking about Costilla County police coming, but really keeping my eye on suspicious looking trucks, thieves, anyone that may want to come in and just do a, a, a mass blast, a raid, uh, you know, uh, a killing spree. I, I felt that that stuff had happened out there before. So when I was out in the yurt, I was very aware of lights, cars coming and going. And I spent a lot of time just observing the road because I could see for miles and miles. I could see for miles and miles. All right. Hold the tomatoes, please. So the people of Costilla County need to get behind a candidate. And it's not too late. I think there's time. And I would suggest that people not spend all day on Facebook. It's been real healing for people to meet each other. Uh, in the community, and now people can post their pics, and oh, wow, you're such a great photographer. Like, 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 like. Wow! Like, 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 like. Um, I want to see people get together in the community. And I appreciate if some people like my videos. It, it touches my heart as well. I think that some of us, we, for a while, we've really wanted to connect with good people in our community. So it's healing our hearts. So I'm not putting that down completely. I'm only being, I'm only saying that just Doing the Facebook thing isn't enough. I, I've seen where that goes. I've seen what that has done to society. Some of you already know that. Let's not try to pretend the San Luis Valley Just Trust group is actually getting anything done. It's become another outlet for entertainment. It's become a place where some people are arguing. And some people have actually engaged in bully activity, which I watched the admins allow. I witnessed the admins allow things they shouldn't have allowed while others are concerned about a little bit of censorship going on in the group, there's, there's control energy there. It's not democracy. It's not a democracy over there. Um, it's The energy is not a democracy. And so I think that we need other Facebook groups. I think that we need some candidates to step up to the plate. We need people to be registered. We need people to vote. We need people to go down to the county commissioner meetings and send me the footage because I'm not going to expend my personal energy going down there and talking to people that uh, don't even believe in the concept of a human soul because they may not have one themselves. And so I'm not going to continue to argue with demons on a regular basis. I've done it a couple times already. We see what it's like when you try to talk to people that ultimately hate you. And the town of San Luis has been exposed for what it is and what it's doing to people. Now that we've exposed them, what are people going to do about it? Now, if we got uh, some concrete organization going on, all that viral activity that I helped generate on the Internet, we can then direct people to say, here's a solution. Here's what we do. Here's the candidate. Here's the movement. Here's the website. Here's the project. Here's the invite for people to come out and buy land. Here are the people that we recommend you buy land from. We develop those relationships with landowners. But by the way, the landowners have been somewhat viciously attacked. They're not the ones behind this. For years, people were allowed to come out in their RV, so their websites were entirely factual. When they said, come out and live in your RV, live in freedom. But some of those websites still say that. So some of these landowners are not involved. They're asleep on the wheel. Maybe they're you know, uh, in, enjoying their lives in many states away, not knowing this is taking place. Um, people need to show their intelligence, you know. 
people need to not just watch these videos or be in the Facebook group. They need to be involved in making phone calls. Uh, they need to be calling civil rights organizations for us. Are the viewers of this YouTube channel calling anybody? Nobody's telling me that they're calling anybody. So as far as I know, you're just watching this like this is entertaining, which is fine. But it's also part of why this is being allowed to take place. Because no one's doing anything about it. Nobody is contacting people in powerful places. No one legitimate, that seems. So Roger came in, Roger Marsh, with claims about us being rescued or things of that matter. And nobody could just come in and rescue you for you. Bruce Doucette, uh, whoever he really is, I don't know. But I know that he's been nice to a point. He's been very nice. I just haven't seen information that has convinced me that he has currently the power to change things. But I would love to see that take place. But I want to see other people step up with the filming. I will help coordinate. People need to be sending me footage. People are not doing that. So unless I'm going to go out and film, in some cases, it seems like it's not hitting YouTube. Other people have filmed and they somehow think it's wise to put on Facebook where nobody in the general world will see it. I mean... I think what you're seeing now is the fallout from poor decision making from some of the residents and now they're on the run for their own survival. I never had land here to begin with. I had interest in buying land for 1500 or actually 2400 but putting 1500 down and decided when I heard that about all this that maybe keeping the money in my pocket would be the best thing to do. And I'm glad I did that because now I do not want land down there in that area. Instead, I'm interested in land somewhere else and I would like to help the right people in 2016 with their building projects building homes building structures building bathrooms building septic tanks or installing septic tanks building underground sheds dirt yurts as they're also called constructing regular yurts uh, using wood from the forest you know, having other cutting instruments, chainsaws, things of that nature, real building, and also a large quinoa fa uh, uh, farm. And then the issue about the water, it's going to be about rain catchment, even though people say that that's illegal because it's not realistic to haul in large amounts of water. Uh, it has to be a crop that doesn't need a lot of water, like quinoa, which is a drought crop. Uh, using nearly all water from the sky, be it legal or illegal, I think that that is the self-sufficient way to go. I think it's insane to tell people that you can't harvest water from the sky. It's one thing to say, don't come over here and take our water from the well. It's insane to say we can't harvest water from the sky. Uh, I, won't, I won't ever obey that command. I mean, j just to put that out there. So I put out some good information. I think that we should continue to move forward. I talked about the solar flare influence over things. How is that not at play here? They're banking on people going to sleep and hibernating throughout the winter. In those uh, heated rooms in San Luis, you think they're going to be going to sleep? They're going to push forward everything that they want to push forward. They have already called the bluff of certain community members. They use the word community to really just describe what's going on around them and their own little lives and their own little Facebook page. Like me, like me, like me, please like me. Unless we're honest about pff, why we're in the situation that we're in, uh, about the wasted time, about the wishful thinking that make government would just like us with our little wonderful plans. As long as we're being naive, we're going to continue to get fucked. I know some people like getting fucked, 